So there are two approaches in comparing the defender and the challenger. First is the cash flow approach. From its name, we'll be using the cash flow analysis to compare the challenger and the defender. The process for this approach uh, starts with the plotting of the cash flow of the defender and if if there is a salvage value left for that defender that value that salvage value will be credited to the challenger's cash flow and it will be a positive cash flow because if we will replace the defender then we will be salvaging some amount and that some amount can be used to purchase the challenger and and thus credited on the cash flow of the challenger on the second approach which is the opportunity cost cost approach uh, this is more more commonly used when the defender and the challenger have an equal lifetimes uh, what differs from the cash flow approach and the opportunity cost approach is that the salvage value the salvage value uh, from the defender uh, will be credited as an opportunity cost of keeping the asset so it won't be present on the challenger's cash flow but rather on the defender's cash flow as an opportunity cost so that will be a cash outflow right so we these two approaches are quite similar uh, we can use the previous economic um, analysis in comparing alternatives you could use present worth future worth annual worth or irr err or benefit cost ratio but the easiest way to solve these problems is the is through the present worth analysis so let's have an example so here uh, there are three options a company is presented first is the broken machine can be sold today for three thousand dollars the option one is just to sell that broken machine and stop the operation that's it so for the option two uh, they can overhaul the machine and that is worth seven thousand dollars so after overhauling it can be uh, used to produce two thousand five hundred in annual cash flow so there are positive cash cash flows if if the machine is repaired and it will be for the next five years and then the resale value of the asset after five years is zero then there is option three it can be replaced for eighteen thousand dollar new equipment so after selling the machine for three thousand then we can buy another one or a new one worth eighteen thousand and then the life of the replacement machine is also five years and it is it still has a salvage value of two thousand and the cash inflows every year for five years is five thousand so if the firm's required rate of return is twelve percent what should x y z do so they are left with three options so let's let's solve this problem using the cash flow approach for the option one this is the cash flow we are uh, only limited to one cash inflow which is three thousand dollars because that broken machine can be sold for three thousand and then the operation will be stopped so there are uh, there will be no more costs and no more um, cash inflows after that so just positive three thousand that's it so its net present worth is positive three thousand for option two it can be described by this cash flow the company will be spending seven thousand dollars for the repair of that machine 
and they can gain 2,500 every year for five years in the operation. So that's the cash flow. And then it's, uh, we can, uh, since we already use the present worth in the option one, it is appropriate to also use the present worth method in option two. And the net present worth is the 2,500 P given A for 12% and for 5 years minus the 7,000. Therefore, the net present worth for option 2 is 2,011.94. Let's go to the option 3. Now we have to add the, the salvage value of the broken machine here on the year 0 and that is worth 3,000. So solving for the net present worth of the option 3, that is the uh, positive 3,000 minus 18,000 plus 5,000 uh, 1.12 1 raised to 5 minus 1 over 0 0.12 times 1.12 raised to 5 and lastly plus 2,000 times 1.12 raised to negative 5. Now solving for the net present worth of the option 3 will give us 4,158.74 dollars. Now comparing the three, comparing the three options it is now uh, obvious that the option 3 has the greatest net present worth and therefore we have to select the option 3. Now for the next example, ABC Corporation is considering the purchase of equipment employing advanced technology to lower the production costs in the product line. At the end of the fifth year, Management will close down the line and liquidate all the assets. The project will require an investment of 50000 in the upgrades and the equipments, an additional of 3000 in working capital, which, be, which will be recovered in full at the end of year 5. So over its 5-year useful life, the new equipment will reduce the labor and raw materials usage from 10,000 to 8,500. It is estimated that the new equipment can be sold for 10,000 at the end of year 5. If the new equipment were purchased, then the old machine would be sold to another company for 10,000. And then the new machine, uh, if the old equipment is kept for 5 more years, its salvage value will be reduced to 4,500. ABC management uses 10% to discount the cash flows. Decide whether replacement is justified now, ignoring any tax considerations. Those are all the given. So the solution for this, uh, let's use the opportunity cost approach. So let's compare the cash flow of the two, but uh, we'll be considering the salvage value of the defender as an opportunity cost on its on its cash flow so this is the cash flow of the defender so that 10,000 uh, 10,000 uh, salvage value will be considered as an opportunity cost so that's a cost going down so if we do not replace the old equipment then the cost of operation and maintenance and raw materials is still 10,000. 
and its salvage value will be reduced to 4,500 at the end of year 5. Now summing all the cash flows, it will result to this. Now for the cash flow of the challenger, so we won't be including the $10,000 at, sorry, we won't be including the 10,000 salvage value of the defender on this cash flow. So we only have the 50,000 plus 3,000 on the year zero, and it will be reducing the operating cost down to 8,500. It can be sold for 10,000 at the end of year five, and then that working capital, which is worth 3,000, is then recovered in full at the end of year five. So now we have to sum the present worth. So that's negative 53,000 minus 8,500. Annuity, uh, present given annuity for 10% and five years. And we have 13,000 present given feature for 10% for five years. Its net present worth is equivalent to negative 77,149.71. In conclusion, based on the opportunity cost approach, the best decision that the company should make is to retain the old machine for another five years rather than buying a new one. So that's all for the topic of replacement analysis. Thank you very much for listening.